Vasudevan Nair, a legend in Malayalam literature, popularly known for short stories, novels, movies. Nalgitta, Asuravitta, Kalam are some of his seminal works, while Bhima, the lawn warrior, is considered to be his masterpiece. This is a modern retelling of the epic Mahabharata, told from the perspective of Bhima Sena, second son among the five Pandava brothers, a character who is never given due recognition. Unlike other representations of this character, MT's Bhima is different because here we can see a character uh, who narrates a story through a very observant and sensitive eye. And just like Bhima, the book shed light on those voices that were restricted in the mainstream epic. Chariots, women, hunters. Uh, there are no demons, but they are represented as forest dwellers with immense knowledge. So this book is a celebration of their voice, their strength, their knowledge. Gods, demons, even more, if are glorified in the mainstream epic, gets little space in this new narrator. The book provides an interesting and critical take on the epic Mahabharata and it provides its readers a good reading experience. Thank you. That I am going to introduce today is The God of Small Things by Arindadi Roy. You all are familiar with Arindadi Roy. She is an Indian author and her best known novel is The God of Small Things. And she got the Man Booker Prize for Fiction in the year 1997. Arindadi Roy is trying to portray the differences that the Indian society casts upon its people who are born under different circumstances. Throughout this novel, we can see that how people suffer just because they are born under different social circumstances. She is trying to show how forbidden love is followed by tragedy. And the novel takes place in Ayamanan, a small district in Kerala. And the novel is set from the perspective of Esther and Rahil, two small kids. The novel actually tries to say how we should acknowledge the small things that follow. We should not always go behind big things. We should follow or we should acknowledge small things that happens in our life. Like money and uh, cash. That doesn't matter. Small things like love, care and affection is all that matters. This book is a great recommendation because you can enjoy this book in an evening, sitting somewhere comfortable, enjoying the fresh air by drinking a cup of coffee. Thank you. Today I'm going to share a book review on the novel The Namesake by Shambhala Lahiri. About the author, Lilanjana Sudesh Lahiri, she was born in London to the Bengali parents from Calcutta. She's basically a diaspora writer. Her first short story collection, Interpreter's Melodies, won her the Pusta Press of Fiction in the year 2000. The namesake is a debut novel. The namesake is all about two generations of Gambolese, a family of Indian immigrants to the United States. Ashok and Ashima. Ashok by profession is an engineer who quickly adapts to the lifestyle of America. Whereas Ashima, his better half, struggles to find her own place in the new Indian land. They have two children who are more connected to America than India. The elder son, Gogot, is the main protagonist of the novel. The identity crisis, his love relations, the dilemma where his true culture belongs to are the main themes discussed in the novel. The novel is beautifully written and we can feel the connection with the characters. Gogot's struggles start from his very name itself. So why Gogol go with the name Gogol as well as why the novel is named as the namesake that I am not going to discuss here. We have to read the novel to find out that. It is also impossible to deny the fact that the novel uh, is based on some of the experiences of or the author as she is also a child of immigrants. The main idea or the message that the author tries to deliver to the novel is that how powerful a language can be, in particular a name can have over a person. So the novel is a beautifully written and it's a really good read and I hope all of you will try the novel. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Varsha Ajit from English Optionals. Today I would like to introduce to you a new book entitled Tuesdays with Mori, written by Mitch Album. 
Mitch Albom is an American writer. He has written around six novels of the same genre, and he is mostly known as a sports columnist. Now, other than Tuesdays with Mori, he has written books like For One More Day, The Five People You Meet in Heaven, etc. Tuesdays with Mori, subtitle An Old Man, A Young Man, Life's Greatest Lesson, is actually a memoir. A memoir or a biography when it comes to its genre and it speaks about Mori who visits his sick professor. It's mostly philosophical and the, right, the teacher teaches his student about life, death, life after death, how we should live etc. I would highly suggest this to all those students who love their teacher dearly.